apple cider. Anyway, this is my review of Pro Wrestling Noah's First Navigation 2011, uh, Part 2, I guess I'd call it, uh, from the 23rd of January. Uh, and also, Cyanide, a, lo a loving tribute to Poison from PWG. But first, Noah. Uh, the, our opener was Hiranagi Genba versus Shiga Kentoro. Toro, I think. I give this about 55%. It was really fun and reminiscent of Randy Savage versus Crush from WrestleMania 10. And, uh, I don't know, it stuck in my mind because it was so weird back when I was a kid. So it brought back some good memories. And I think that's what they're trying to do. So yeah, pretty good opener. Then we had Anoe Masu, Masao and Ricky Marvin versus Muhammad Yone and Kanemaru Yoshinibu. Uh, this was, this is all right, you know, about 50%. As good as you're going to get out of Yone. Then we had Kenta and Ishimori versus Takayama Yoshihiro and Sano Takuma. This is actually a very good match. This is about 70%. Uh, Ishimori felt kind of out of place. I would have rather had like a bigger guy, like a Shiozaki or a Sagira in here. You know, it's still pretty good. It's still really good, actually. Yeah. Then we had the champion, GHC heavyweight champion, Sugiro Takashi versus the on fire, Ayuki Atsoshi. Uh, this is really good, too. Uh, what, 66%? Yeah. Good junior versus heavy match. Just the right amount of offense from Aoki. Still looks strong. And Sagira doesn't look weak. So, mission accomplished. Shouldn't say that anymore. Then we had Kensuke Sasaki, Sasaki Kensuke, Nakajima Katsuhiko, and Miyahara Kento versus Akiyama Jun. Marafuji Naimichi, Naimichi and Panaguchi Shuhei. This is about 79%. Uh, th there's a human centipede spot, I like to call it. It's a garbage movie. You might get it if you watch the match and you've seen the movie. Anyway, the, the crowd was a lot smaller than the Osaka you know, crowd from the last show for Akiyama's return match, but they were actually louder and more enthusiastic. <laughs> so... A good crowd made this match even better. This match is about 79-80%, which is four stars. The right man got the pin for sure. I'm not going to tell you who it is, but you can watch this. Um, it's not on YouTube, I don't think, yet. It's available in a lot of places. And then we had the Pink Gordy, as some people call them, Morishima, Takeshi, and Yoshi, Batman. Versus Saito Akatushi and some guy, the first time I've ever seen him, Ajima Yoto? A Yoto? Or, I don't know, 60%. Nothing too special about Ajima or Yoshi. But Morishima and Saito are always good, so, you know. We got that, which made it pretty good. And then we had our main event, uh, Shiozaki Go, Kotaro Suzuki. Suzuki Kataro and Ogawa Yoshinari versus the Gaijin, Bison Smith, Eddie Edwards, and Bobby Fish. If this is my match of the night. Yeah, it's about 79% too. <laughs> Excellent build for Edwards and Suzuki. I want to see it. They better release this somewhere for us non Japanese fans. Yeah, everything was done proper. The aftermath was really, really good. I just want to see Edwards and Suzuki right now. I wanted to review these together, but the show's not out yet. Okay, then we had Cyanide, a lovely tribute to Poison from Pro Wrestling Gorilla, which is a company I really like. Yeah, I usually buy three or four of these DVDs when I go to the wrestling shows in Toronto because I don't have a credit card. I have to borrow one. It's too much trouble. So anyway, uh, it's the last one I got. 
Uh, this, the opener was Big Willie Mac. He, he's this he's this big black guy. He's you know not in the greatest shape, but he can do like the kick ups and all that crazy high speed explosive stuff. And he's he's very entertaining. And he's got a good future in wrestling. And he faced pretty Peter Avalon, who's about 170 pounds soaking wet. Mm, oh, you know, he did good. He did his good little heel work and everything. And Willie Mack crushed him. Yeah, it's a good match. Great opener. But 65%. Then we had Chuck Taylor, the Kentucky Gentleman, versus Roderick Strong, Mr. Personality. Really stiff stuff from Roderick. At one point, Chuck Taylor goes out to the front row and asks a fat man in the audience for his coat, his uh, hoodie. Tries to zip it up. Can't get the zipper up. For whatever reason, Roger just gets sick of waiting. So he's chopping the fuck out of it. Just really, really entertaining stuff. Then we had Rock Nest Monster versus the Cutler Brothers. Uh, the Cutlers are... One of my favorite teams in PWG, and I think they had enough momentum where they kind of won the titles instead of Pelegro Abejas, DDT4 last year. I think it was DDT4. Maybe not. Anyway, yeah, the, I think the Cutlers should be the champions by now, but, you know, Generic and London are doing a good job. So this match is uh, very exciting, but 70%. Too many outside dives and... PWG though. Every single match I'm pretty sure had at least one outside dive. Not everyone needs to do those. Like in a steam match you don't really need them. Because he's already over enough where he doesn't you don't need high spots. Anyway. Uh, we had Joey Ryan versus Brandon Gatson next. This is I don't know, really generic, weird pacing. About fifty four percent. You know, it was there. Then we had the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, or Generation Me, Jeremy and Max Buck. Terrible name. Against the Fighting Taylor Boys, Brian Cage Taylor, and Ryan Taylor, pretty sure. This is about 75% match the night to this point. Fast, furious, and fucking crazy. It was a good spot fast, not one of those garbage ones with Jack Evans. Then we had... Definitely the match of the night. Mr. Wrestling Kevin Steen versus Akira Tozawa, who's just blazing right now. That guy can do nothing wrong. He's lighting up PWG in Japan and in DG USA. Yeah. <laughs> this match is fantastic. It was the show was right before Christmas, so there was a tree set up and there was a bunch of gifts. And Tozawa decides to hit Steen with a gift, right? And, you know, it sounds pretty loud. And then Steam picks up a gift and hits it with, hits Tozawa with it, and it's like a pane of glass or something. <laughs> the announcers had fun with that. It's good commentary. They get distracted at times, but they have much more enthusiasm than any other company. You can't knock that. People genuinely enjoy the product. It's usually better than <laughs> Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler. Yeah. Per the them yeah this match oh both men look very strong anyway the main event for the PWG World Tag Titles Chris Hero and Claudio Castagnoli the Kings of Wrestling Challenge the Champions Pelegro Abejas with Paul London and Generico London was entertaining Generico carried more of the wrestling uh, I like London's gimmick kind of he just kind of bulls in. He doesn't execute everything perfectly, but he gets the job done and it looks good enough. And yeah, Kings of Wrestling looked really good in this. It was a little short. The finish was a little eh, kind of unnecessary. The way it happened. But yeah. Great match. It was 78, 79%. Hope to see more of these guys in DVT4. At least here on Castanoli. I'm really excited for DDT4. There's a lot of teams in this. You got the Cutlers, you got 
Rock Nest Monster, you got Kings are you, Kings of Wrestling and American Wolves. Just, it's stacked. Young Bucks. Maybe the most stacked DDT forever. It's one of them. Uh, oh, Tozawa and Steen are teaming, which <laughs> the each one of them is crazy on their own. Together is just getting fantastic. Yeah, I hope to review Suzuki versus Edwards pretty soon, the Noah show. As soon as I get my hands on it, I'll watch it one sitting, and then I'll be on 10 minutes after I watch it. Alright, you guys uh, stay classy or whatever. Later.